I grew up w watching 49ers because of Steve Young, because I grew up LDS, yeah. so it was like LDS. our team, Mormon. What does LDS mean? Latter-day Saints. Oh, I did not know that. Haven't you seen that. the Book yeah. of Mormon yeah. on Broadway? <laughs> Which is awesome, by the way. Amazing. I've seen it twice. It's, great. it's coming here in the spring. It's is it? so spring, yeah. inappropriate I tried to get so Josh many Dad levels, to, like, but it's so good. Star in it here, and he wouldn't do it. But it is who? so brilliant. Josh Gad. He was the star. He's actually, um, he's a really funny guy. He was the star of it in Book of Mormon. Oh, yeah. okay. He's on a new in New York. called 1610. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other guy was in um, and he's on, uh, the, the New Normal. Nor the New Normal yeah. I mean, now. And also Girls. He's, he's in Girls yeah. as well. Yeah, mm. I know. Two shows, yeah. I can't remember his How do you do that? that? Oh, I'm sorry. We're, I know. I'm just waiting yeah. for you, so sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. So um, we have six minutes. Okay. So you know we have two minutes. And we'll make it. Perfect. We've already Perfect. used four and a half of them. So yeah. <laughs> You guys are up really early this morning, so yeah. we're going to be crashing soon. Okay, uh, welcome to Toronto. Great to have you both here. Hey, it's um, good to be here. Congratulations, and I have to say, okay, I am a huge sucker for Nicholas Sparks. Who okay. isn't? Like, yeah. Really? So when you guys get, you know, the offer to be in the film or have it works out, you kind of know what you're getting into. So we're like, lots of boxes of Kleenex have to be bought. <laughs> How did it all go? <laughs> well, I mean, part of the, as a guy... Yeah. Who likes guy movies? Uh, you know, I, like I, guy I, I have I have been. Yeah, but he's uh, Mr. Transformers. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I have been. You know, I, I am a fan of these movies, especially when they're done really well. And for me, oops, it's it's when they're not overly sentimental. And what I loved about what Lassa did with this movie was that he 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 really tried to play the organic sort of. Uh, love between these two, rather than rather than force it down people's throats. And there's something really natural, I think, about the way he directs, and mm -hmm. and uh, I think that really kind of came out in the film. Yeah, it did. And and I have to say, I mean, your chemistry is really fantastic in this. It really, yeah. So, Thank you. what kind of faking went Rubbing on there? Or was it very? Well, or was it, it instant? It was more of this, <laughs> touching elbows. Um, <laughs> no, um, it was it was great. Uh, Josh was obviously attached to the to the movie before I was, and. I remember coming in, and it just, it, I thought we had great chemistry when we did our first reading, and then Lassa came in uh, to see the second one, and I just kept thinking it was getting better and better, and then once we were on set, it, I don't know, it just, it just worked. I think we both knew what the movie was, what we wanted it to be, and we were passionate about making it, um, what he said, not so sentimental, but real. Yeah. And I think, you know, knowing kind of who we are in, in real life, too, that's kind of, we're you know, we're kind of just goofballs, so. <laughs> Which makes it a lot easier. Yeah. And does it make it a lot easier? Because it, it can't be easy to do those, you know, love scenes and kissing and slobbering all over each other. It's I mean, horrible. Especially when you have significant <laughs> others. I mean, look at her. Like, how do they feel about that kind of stuff? Or they just kind of don't come to you? The much? significant others? Yes. Well, I think we both have uh, significant others who Very understand. Very understanding, yeah. And uh, you know, we we both knew coming in that that you know what this kind of movie is about, and so it was it was it was you know we respected each other's relationships, but at the same time we knew that when the cameras are rolling, all that stuff goes out the window, and you just have to it's it's just about the story and mm -hmm. and about finding uh, you know just make it. We really truly wanted to make the best movie we can. That meant having a real connection. And, Julianne is very easy to connect with. Um, and, you know, there's a little dancing scene in there. Mm -hmm. But is it intimidating to partner up with this gal? No, I have a, I have a dancing past. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, do tell us, because I was not aware of this. You might have seen me on uh, uh, a little movie called When in Rome. Yes. Where, at the end of the movie, I did a little thing, uh, <laughs> which sort of opened up a lot of doors for me. So... Uh -huh. Mm. This movie was not. I this wasn't, was just I, really an audition to be on Dance with Stars. Yeah, so, yeah, and I yeah. wasn't casting this movie for my acting. I was cast because there was this dance scene, and they knew that the only person that could pull it off was me. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's how that all came. So, so he, was, he, he did okay in your books. It was all right. It, out all right. it was awesome. I mean, I think it's one of the better dances that I've ever done because it was fun. Like there was nothing serious about that, and I it like wasn't your back. I be like good. your back bend. That's my favorite yeah. part. Is well, your I learned that from you on Dancing with the Stars. That's where that, <laughs> that's what inspired that was, you know, seeing Julianne and, and Derek on, on no, Dancing with the Stars. No, it was all I real was laughs. Let's just put it that way. In the laughing and the whole thing, it was all real. And it wasn't supposed to be good. And if it were yeah. supposed to be good, 
I wouldn't probably wouldn't have got the part. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to add, so you, you know, you, like you said, you did such a great job in, in this. But you know, for you, you've got so much on your plate: dancing, singing, you know, acting. What draws you to do acting now? Is this is it for that me or her? Wanna, for her first. Oh, <laughs> really, really quickly. <laughs> um, honestly, I I've, I've just wanted to entertain since I was a little kid. Acting, singing, dancing—they've all been in my my future, my path. That's always what I've wanted to do. Um, now I just have the opportunity to do it and. Um, you know, I, when, I feel like once you're, once you have momentum, why would you stop? So I'm, um, I'm kind of putting my music on hold for now and um, trying to branch out more into dramatic or comedy and rather than just performance, you know, musicals. So, um, but I, I really am. I'm having the best time, and I'm, I'm growing each film that I do, and um, you know, creating great friendships and. And stuff like that. So I'm having the best time. Really. So more dancing from you, I guess. Of course. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think my my audience is clamoring for it. I think so too. I think <laughs> so too. I, you know, I, I keep it up. Keep it up. Good work. Thank you. you. You're doing a great job. Thank you for the good cry. I really appreciate thank that. You. I always love that. Uh, Thanks for coming, and uh, we'll see you guys again soon. I'm sure. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.